Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peeps, good evening, good afternoon, good afternoon. Wonderful peeps. Yard and abroad. Man, so. They are one place named Pier Chee Bottom, a runner of the center, you know. I'll do some spear fishing, you know, but we have a bird fruit. So, me and Danny there, so you know, ain't gone, ain't gone over the side there, so. We have a bird fruit. I'm going to do a catch and cook today. I'm going to roast the bird fruit and get a couple of fish. Probably fish them not that big still. Because I'm going to go to extra time and spend the extra time. That's why I'm deal with dinner right. That's why I'm going to cook a yard today. So we have a deal with dinner right for the, 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 the fireside. Yes, you use a fireside regularly. Yes, There's a place where you come regularly. I'm going to roast a bird fruit. Maybe get some fish in a you know, Jamaican style, outdoor style, or use some file paper with some with liquor season. It look like I think artificial. You know them season with them selling artificial season. Close to roadside, you know, here chuck and thing up us. So that I go go on you know. Me just go. Yeah. Yeah. Two rivers there, one up there and one down there, so the water go look like it's a saggy saggy, greasy greasy. I don't know if anybody knows about fresh water and salt water mixing together. It's going to make it smurry smurry, you know? Yeah, so, I look out for that. But that can't happen still. So, what's going on now? I'm going to go out in the water and see what I can find out there. You know, the timer, two, two. Three you know, three minutes after two, so it's early you know, but the kinda it, it, the sun kinda hide back or some cold, so it kinda left the little the little um, overcast look ya. Yeah. yeah so I will go out there and see what we find and hopefully we can come back, get some fire stick, some firewood and catch up a small fire and roast the breadfruit and roast the fish them as well and you know we eat with dinner. Because you know we don't go and go do nothing there, so we might go and go munch pan something there, so we are eat within a fan right here. So. Yeah, that was the roasted bread food. Right, then say I'm going to roast the bread food till we come back. So what I'm going to do? So I'm going to do the hunting, I'm going to prepare the fire and thing till we come back. I reckon like two already will go out, but it doesn't necessarily make sense because which part I'm going to do now, you can't see me from what I'm going to do. I don't know how to use no buoy still. So him still has a can see me because the reef is very near. So I will go over on the deep side a bit and see what I can find too. What, I, what species have fish out there now? I don't want to be parrot at them still. But if I can find any grunt and snapper love down the side of it, I can find few snappers or any jack or anything. Hopefully, but if I can find up, I will take two parrot fish. So sorry for that. Okay? Alright, so I'll see what I'm going on. Boy, big chuck pass as some one car. But peeps, I'm going to walk up the line for a little piece of beach looking place. It looks like a beach, but you can't use a little beach, you know, but only through the, the morass and the thing, there, so, you know. I don't want to clean up. That's why I can use a little beach and a lagoon out the side where the river mode come in, see, because there's two rivers. One there straight out in front and one more down the side. The reef is close, so you can actually walk out of the reef. Yeah, so. Otherwise, everything good. So I walk out a little bit further and then me. I dive off and just come back down the line right to the where the river is. We are opening this up and swim come through this up. Hopefully, we get two nice fish where we can come grill down, you know. And we have some gold seal butter and some season. Some of them artificial season. Yeah, and I'm a dinner that. And why we say, are we dinner we are going to eat a road, you know? A yard away alone, the woman yard. Um, the family, that's woman and child, they, they went out. So, 
kind of free if you do what you want. Do you know? We know a full style already. Yeah, man. You know we are out door you now. So. We do it in our door you now. It's a lagoon so look good door. And the sun kind of come up back you now. You see the sun does over it. So you can see it's an early one. It's a good look so far you know. Mm -hmm. So alright. I kind of feel like I reach me. Destination, so I go walk out this way, you know. Walk straight out there because I walk here for walk, I see the water, you know. and then you know that. I check my time, that's 2 30 something there. Ready up my spear gun, you know. And I actually did not get to walk out um, that far because the tide was coming in. The water is getting very high, so I actually suit up and swim. You can see the water is very green looking here. And this is my first fish, this is a shad. There's a lot of shad in the shallow water here. There's a lot of shad. I don't know if you guys can see any, but there's a lot of shad there. So reaching the deep water now. You can see the visibility is very good. You can see this more on top of the water that's the fresh and the salt water mixing together. Mixed together there. And underneath this coral, there was a red gripper, a dotted gripper. I don't think you guys can see him under there. He's, you can spot him right through the crap, but I didn't get a good shot. But anyway, I still take it. But I don't see which way he went. These are some parrots, but they keep to slipping away. And again, this the fish gun is the same spear I am using in the spear gun. It, it itching, but the rubber need to change because the rubber is very weird, weird, and. It's make the fish gun a little bit slow. The spear gun a little bit slow. And this spear is new, so it's kinda heavy. Next parrot fish rip away there. Actually get that one. miss again and it's getting bored now so let's see what's the end is it's getting on with yes yeah, so he catch the fire he put the breadfruit on fire you can see a lovely breadfruit there so let's get back to the water a beautiful area some rock a lot of small fishes i see grunts i see parrot fish i see some I remember what those are very lovely. And I take the time to have a little fun. This is a classic swim shoe shot. With my stringer. Just to catch dinner. Come out of the water, you know. Yeah, man, and I find a couple. And me use the same spear me use in my video me do what day. So I say the spear has split. But it's still a slip in a but I know what is an angle me need. It's not a spear because when I get to find out with the fish gun angle. This part the spear enter through if you go through the angle, it's too wide so the spear keep on a slip off so when it slips so it has so that are the problem so it's an angle we need but well enough you know in a, in a, in a feel me still 
you know fear you know you know feel me at all you know me get me dinner me get a, a nice size or cheap water for dog eats na for ya and a baby barracuda ya why you swim right for me gun point as me a come out my water so he catch him a baby barracuda and so the first fish me get me get a one shot and me get two small jack you know, you know what I say fish them now go big because you know we just go somewhere for us you know get me dinner yes man so it's a good look and the sun is still out see me and thing yeah and the end light up a bird food fire already you know bird food fire yeah go and do a new thing yeah. mm -hmm. so you know this go We have to scale off them fish you know, and we got the little season and things So we have to them up and put them in a file paper and catch them on the grill So we are doing mm -hmm. Put with some butter in them No we hold it up now go in Just the season and um, Should I make should I get two pepper to you know? oh, So you go mm, So you go So just the season and rub on them With little butter and wrap them in the, in the file paper you know, like, Scale up one thing. The snapper. Got the shad. You know? And two local small jack and one park. So this season, we saw a butter and then muggy season alone. We just wrap them up in some file paper and show them and that's it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'll rub them up and I'll see what go on. If me have a listen, I have to walk. In a real outdoor style, regular with no knife at all. Now yeah, we're sharp going on.
two files set up already. Yeah, man. I'm going to steam down in the paper for them. So, I'm going to go to the river mount. The breadfruit already, breadfruit is kind of yes, after. So, I go, I go to the river mount, I wash off it, my gun, and my, my, my fin and my glass. Yeah. I left them, I go and wash them already like I have them and I have my sea clothes them, you know, so I go and wash them with fab and soap and things they smell fresh and I go wash them off with some fresh water you know. the gloves them I go wash too so yeah man I walk out of the river mouth so I can take one along with me, you know yeah so see the river mouth here yeah. yeah man, it's a fresh water yeah, so. The river come to uh, uh, them cold boat there, so straight out in the sea. So, rinse off them, you know, you know. Put them off in some fresh water. You can also put them, so I don't have to go and go rinse, go wash them off, you know. I have a change off of that gun yeah. Yeah, let me get an angle. Yeah, man. Some fresh water get off the salt is off of them, you know? They know. Wash off get the salt is off of them. Water cold bad you know. Mm, I'll go back out there so the fish them are dealing with them. Yeah, I take time I come in you now, you know. Feel the air butter dropping at the, at the fireside, you know. So, you no, know, it well at the milk, you know, this fish work. Yes, man. Red fruit, I wait upon them, you know. Mmm. Breadfruit feel like you know, so you don't know feel breadfruit, you know. I feel the breadfruit like I am a circle of growing in my head. Some of you don't feel it. Like I am. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be dirty, you know. No, I can't be dirty. Nice. Well, I'm going to taste it, you know. Wait for them to check in and now they are almost ready. Nice that. You know, cut it in the evening, man. I cut one side. It's just in the evening. You know, so you do it. You cut it in the evening, man. <laughs> so, I fish them up out there, you know. You know? Let's take up one ice, man. Take the other one, man. Go fly that run out in the dark. Boss here, so no peeps, and we see how in this day, and we hope we cook. How long is it on the fire now? 4 Sydney, you know. Let me see it, 4 50 Sydney. It's on the bow hour, no, sir? Mm-hmm. Uh, paper, you know? yeah. Wrapping enough paper, you can see butter running out of this. Which one does I get? Nazi. The one? No, it's not busted. I borrow you again. Oh, oh. Oh, the borrow and the parrot. It's damn nice. Yeah. I'm a 
boost this one out. I have a camera and I'm gonna try to film the same time, you know, I'm gonna pull it. Juicy, juicy, juicy. The pips, well shot. With bird fruit, you know, in the evening, going for the bird. Last flight, going for the bird food. Yes, man. Mm. Thing check out, you know, fish was very delicious, and very nice, you know. The good fruit was turn and nice. You know, if anybody know about roast, roast bread fruit when them turn, nice, and the fish them just steam right to you, perfect. You know, with the butter and little seeds, you know, with Japan, very nice. You know. Come on, in. The sun daily a check where you now, but you know, you see it down through this, eh? the, the, the tree them block it up, but see it on the water top there. Eh? Another wonderful afternoon now, after 5 you know, 18 minutes after 5. Where do you pack your know, peeps? So. Catch you later. Remember to subscribe, remember to check out the original link. Catch you later then, see?